Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can add contacts to your contacts list in Teams to easily find, call, and message team members and people outside your organization. Note that you cannot call external phone numbers for contacts without having a phone plan for your office subscription. You can easily add organization members and verified guests by using their names for organization members or email addresses for guests. To add a new contact to your contacts list in Teams, click the Calls button in the app bar. In the Calls pane to the right, click the Contacts link. In the Contacts pane that appears to the right, click the Add Contact button. Type the organization member's name, guest's email, or external phone number into the Type a Name or Number field of the Add to Contacts dialog box. If typing a phone number, be sure to include the country code followed by the number. For example, in the United States, enter 1 followed by the area code and number. If adding an organization member or guest, then select the team member or guest from the resulting list. Then click the Add button to add them to the contacts list. However, if adding an external phone number, click it in the resulting list to open a new window where you can enter a descriptive name for the number, its company and title if needed, and then click the Add button. To edit the contact information for an external contact you've manually added if available, click the More Options ellipsis to the right of the contact in the Contacts list and select the Edit Contact command from the menu to open the Edit Contact window. Then make your changes and click the Save button. To remove a contact you have added, click the More Options ellipsis to the right of the contact in the Contacts list and select the Remove Contact command from the menu. Then click the Confirm button to confirm the contact's removal. Note that if you cannot see either the Edit Contact or Remove Contact command when you click a contact's More Options ellipsis, then that contact is probably a synced contact from your associated Contacts folder in Outlook. You should go Edit or Delete the contact in Outlook and then Restart Teams to sync the information again, at which point the contact info is updated. You can organize your contacts into groups to find them more easily. You cannot add external phone number contacts into manually created contact groups in Teams though. These can only appear in the default Other Contacts contact group or you can manually add them to the default Speed Dial group if needed. Unlike these types of contacts, you can easily add contact information for organization users and guests to your manually created contact groups. To manually create a contact group in Teams, click the Calls button in the app bar. Then click the Speed Dial link at the top of the Calls pane. Then click the New Group button in the upper right corner of the pane. Type a name for the contact group into the Contact Group Name field of the Create a New Contact Group dialog box and then click the Create button. To add people to the group, click the More Options ellipsis to the right of the group name at the right side of the window and then select Add a Contact to this group from the menu. In the Add to Contacts dialog box, type the name of the organization member or the email address of the guest into the Type a Name field. Select them from the resulting list and then click the Add button. To remove a person from a contact group, hover over the person's contact card beneath the group at the right side of the window. Click the More Actions ellipsis in the contact card and then choose the Remove from this group command from the menu. To rename a contact group, hover over a group, click its More Options ellipsis to its right, and select the Rename this group command from the menu. Then type a new name in the Rename this group dialog box, and click the Save button. To delete a contact group, hover over its name, 
click its More Options ellipsis, select Delete this group from the menu, and then click the Confirm button to confirm its deletion. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.